say I don't particularly agree with that statement because what? the healing doesn't all come in an instant. Right. You don't get the armor, so yeah, obviously it's not a mech. But re regardless, like level one two engagement, like you said, three versus Ten three, that uh, leech seed actually does an amazing amount of uh, healing. It's five like having a uh, five six magic stick for your whole three heroes on the team, which at that point of the game, it's insane. Dire so yeah, uh, I agree. He's a great offensive trialing hero. But speaking of which, I don't think we see an offensive trialing right now. I think the last pick, if they want you offensive trialing, it, it's going to come from the last pick. Okay, so Shane, I mean, we have the heroes right here right now, and I have to put them somewhere in the lane. I'm going to help you. I'm going to ask you for help. Okay. Okay, let's start with the Dire for a little while, right? We have Bane, Mirana, Death Prophet, and Avadon. Okay, Who so... Who goes where? Ten seconds remaining. In my opinion, it should be Death Prophet mid, and okay. s some sort of... Five no, not bottom mid, Bruno. I center. I, I misclicked. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's Don't panic. It's, 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 it's it'll gonna, be okay. It's gonna go mid. And then it's kind of hard to tell because it could go like when I see Abaddon. I usually think defensive troll lane because he's like mm -hmm. he's a defensive hero by nature. But they could also go offensive troll lane at the same time. Let's just guess. It yeah, doesn't matter. Like, okay, I'm we're gonna guess every single time. We're gonna guess. We're gonna go offensive troll lane. Okay, with Mirana or Mirana off lane. With Mirana. Well, we have a, a Spectre that has. Oh no, sorry. Never mind. This is from the last game. I was watching something else. Uh, with Mirana. Mirana is going to that. That's not the offensive try lane. I'm not really good at pressing buttons, am I? <laughs> I bet you I'm wrong anyway. At so least you, got, you press the button for the compendium. Like, at least that, that got live. I'm not even sure that actually <laughs> is live right now. Like, I'm trusting that it is. I was playing around with it there a second ago. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So it's live. Uh, so, what about Navi? We have. That rider, we have Doom, Shadow Shaman. It's hard to tell with seconds, these drafts though, because Doom could go mid, he could go uh, jungle. Yeah. And Battle Rider could do the Five same. Seconds. And he could also go off lane. Lumi, wanna help? I I don't know about this <laughs> myself. Yeah, like, imagine you're playing against Navi, so it's a Reserve five time. stack with you and four of the Alliance guys, your choice. Or Cloud9, which are your friends actually. Sure. So you're playing carry. Yeah, okay. Obviously. Because I'm the best. Uh, no, yeah, because Because I'm better than Envy, exactly. obviously. Exactly. Yeah, okay. That's that's the point I was going to. Yeah. And you have the rest of Cloud9. So you're seeing this and I'm like, oh, I'm like Lumi, we need to know how are the lanes. First of all, I'm gonna say this is like a questionable draft dubious. But <laughs> but alright, I'm gonna go offensive trial with Shadow Shaman Tree and plus one, whatever we're drafting next. I'm gonna put Better mid and doom, safe lane. Solo safe. Okay. But knowing that Navi's this is Navi, I don't pick. think that's what they'll do. But that's my guess. That, that was my guess. That's good. Okay. That's good. Well, do enough. you agree with my uh, guess on the? I agree with the... your guess. And knowing that I agree with your guess, and there's going to be offensive trialing, I wouldn't put doom safely mm -hmm. because doom is going to get. Yeah. Like, like that um, storm spirit from yes, last week, yes. pretty much. So uh, to, to really just tell the viewers, we have no freaking clue. We no. have no <laughs> idea what's going on. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. I, I find that more and more in 6.80. Um, yes. Like, it used to be 6.78. More than knew, before, right? Five yeah, 6.78, you knew every single lane. Yeah, straight you away nearly. You saw that Vyrider mid, that Magnus mid. You saw Reserve the time. defensive trialing. Offensive trialings were very obvious. Normally, they would have very key picks, like Visage. Or yeah. like Undying was really popular yeah, back exactly. then. Venomancer was used solely for that. Um, and then the usual suspect for offlaners would be Nature's Prophet, Clockwork, mm -hmm. and Long Druid. Long Druid, yeah. But now it's. Boom. Just throws a spanner pick. completely but, in the works. And that's a dandy Shadow Fin. Yeah. That's a dandy Shadow Fin. So if that's a dandy Shadow Fin, then that's a off -lane. Off -lane bat. Bat. And a defensive tri lane? They could, I, I could, they do, could do, do, do the jungle right. like the way they did it last okay. game and farm a tree. That could actually work. Farm a tree. Yeah. I used to do that all the time in pubs. Get Mask of Madness and just run people down and push them. go Mask of Madness. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fast and you yeah. hit like a truck. Like. Mask of Madness and Radiance. That's the old tree, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. The no, tree with the battle fury. fury. Battle Fury as And well. you get ulti and just like... Ah, da, da. Do you get a calling blade to, to start make sure you get the last? Of course. Of course. Yeah, it's pretty hard with 100 damage. Like yeah, yeah. It's not easy being green. Being doom. I don't know. Being tree. It's actually Ten green, so it's fine. Remaining. I actually think that farming tree, the way that Havol's played the Venom as the last game, Five would be very uh, similar. Like, mm. you don't go the Mask of Madness on that stuff. Oh my god. Centaur. Looks like they're sending the the offensive try lane with the Centaur now. Yep. So. Is that what you think, Lumi? Or I think so, yeah. I, I think it's going to be some variation of offensive try lane, whether you have Mirana or you have Centaur being part of that try lane. If. I would totally go with center actually because with the sleep it's the perfect setup for the vein. I mean, it's a perfect setup for the uh, no. arrow, as, arrow well. as well. Yeah, but it the, arrow, the arrow takes longer. Like you, you see the you see them run in the lane. You see the uh, the sleep. You're immediately okay, lads. We have to take the sleep off this fella. 
But if you're if the Sento is there, it could be pretty close. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because you can take the sleep off and dodge well, arrow. Do a lace. Do you want Ava to? Avadon with Centaur. Well, right now. We, we saw we saw that on the first day though, I cast Fnatic. It. Yeah. yeah, they ran the Lich Ten Centaur duo off. Yeah. Yeah, it worked there fine. I'm actually liking the uh, Bane Centaur a little Five bit more because uh, yeah, sure, Bane could sleep somebody and the arrow for fly, but good team are going to take away the sleep and the arrow is going to miss. But if you take away the sleep, the centaur is going to just walk towards a person that's now asleep and still get the stun off. But uh, with the lane prediction, let's just go into the Prepare game and see what's actually going to be happening. So Doi so far is going off lane while well, the rest of the team is going to be coming with him. Oh, Jesus, the sensitivity on Draskill's mouse. Where do you think you're sitting there? I was like, I'm not controlling this thing. It's insane. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, yeah, I'm it. just saying like everybody's gonna go into the enemy jungle to ward off the. Hey, it's a level one Roche. No, it's not. <laughs> it totally could be, Lumi. <laughs> Max the passive on the. Max the passive on the center. Let's just go AFK. Himself. Yeah. Just go AFK. Hell yeah! I'm by like three stout shields. <laughs> okay, so judging by the players that are playing the heroes, Havos is gonna be farming here, and it's gonna be Karoki tree. No, it's gonna be Puppy tree. Okay. What? Did they see Havos? I think they saw him, but. Uh oh. Can they the sleep get is kind of a long way. Oh, there's a oh. the sleep. Okay, yeah. here comes the uh, puppy. He's trying to get off. He's going to get completely <laughs> stunned. Yeah. He's going to try to get off leash. No mech in place here. First and this team fight is going really oh. in trouble. Hobos right looking at the hell of Yo, but there's a shield. Hobos trying to run. Hobos is going to go down. That's a second kill going. But there's going to be a uh, Dendi oh, grabbing what? one kill. <laughs> Dendi is dead as well. The, the nightmare well. goes on Dendi. Here comes Hobos. He's back alive. No. Finally, they have a heal. The mech is coming in. Dendi's alive. The shield coming in again. So Doi getting right click. Looks like it's going to be a Another kill for Kuroki now going for tree. Uh, the Centaur. Centaur does not have any mana left. He's tankling back up here. Where's the shield? Go black has shield coming off. The Won't go down one second. Where's no, the, no shield just yet? Kuroki on the run. But oh. Puppy on the run. I think they want to fight more, but the shield is going to give him the complete surprise. Long oh. arrow. Oh, it's going to miss. Okay. What is, what is this going on? <laughs> is this playing like champions? Is this. This is not Dota. 4 2. And the creeps just spawned. All right, looks like the lads are like, all right, lads, that's enough of that. Back uh, to the lanes. Empire, big winner. That Avadon, 202. <laughs> my, my, he's well, going to be a retreat. Not, not Empire, Rock's kiss. Uh, Rock's, okay. sorry, yeah, well, it's just long day. Yeah, long day. Long day. Oh, no. That's why we sacrificed. Oh, man, if you look at Centaur, he's got a haste rune, so he's all going back to base, which is a big, big win for him. He's going to just TP back <laughs> with <laughs> <four> <laughs> <HP> <laughs> full mana. Yeah. And he's going to be Havos in the offlane solo, and now knowing that the tri lane is going to be in the bottom. He would rather run his chances against the center. I want to say, I'm not sure the center can actually do anything to get him out of the lane, especially at least until level five or six. It's like you predicted, though. It's a 2-1-2. Two -two. It's a Bane center lane, which suddenly changes a lot of things for, Sen uh, for the Chen. Yeah. Or, or Doom, sorry. Uh, yeah, that, that will actually make it a little bit more complicated. But also the fact that all these heroes got very quick levels. Now, Goblack is level 2, about to be level 3. And he's oh, 1v2 oh against... Oh, oh, oh well, uh, he that was a bit so greedy. Shield? Oh, ooh, ah! No. 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 Sorry. Or well, you know that what, what that means. When he, you feed a level 2 hero to these two supports, they're level 2 as well. Nice. Yep. Space created, Goblack. Good job. For the other team, but hey, <laughs> something like that. Dendi went bottom. Okay. Dendi went bottom, and against uh, Mirana that has very little base damage, I think it's fine, because against uh, Death Prophet he's not going to have a nice time, and they decide to put Fanning there. And now Fanning, but Rider versus Death Prophet. This is a matchup that personally I have never played. Maybe I did. I I don't remember playing it so often. You've no nightmares from it. Yeah, I mean, what oh. do you think happens here? So. I mean, generally, when when you have a bat rider in the mid lane, you really want to push the lane towards the enemy tower with mm -hmm. three or four stacks on the enemy hero and then dive. But that's going to be especially difficult against Death Prophet, who has one of the best skills to push out the lane. He also has a magic stick purchase, much thanks to that chaotic fight in the beginning. Uh, so I, I think Solo is going to have a fairly decent time. I think having the bat, uh, Death Prophet slow rate turned or turn rate slow down, it doesn't really matter too much. She's gonna just really. nuke the lane. So this wasn't the original plan though, because Funic went boots first. So. Yes, I think he was mostly like, like the the Navi lane completely switched after yeah. realizing what's happening. Oh, the sleep on Doom right there. There's going to be a stomp. It's a level three center. Are they? Sli Dyer's yeah, they're stomping the boss. He's so tanky attack. though. He has his heal on, so he's actually gonna go right on Joe. Joe got slowed down. He's got brain sap going on. Here comes the double edge. Oh, Both trying to run out of there. He needs to get a south on, but yo survives with 31 HP. He's like, come back here, just a little bit. Kuroki has boots. Oh, uh, yo pops the south. That's it. Yeah. 
you can walk away. And also 315 movement speed. Base. <laughs> to uh, Shallow Shaman's uh, 335 with boots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so no comments there. I guess Kurok is going to get a little bit of levels out of that. That's the silver lining, which is a very, very thin silver lining. Uh, but yeah, we have the lanes going on Rokski's favor, unsurprisingly. For some reason... Oh, no, this is my mistake. Yeah. Falling, then he's in a little bit of trouble here. Marana trying to, do the, uh, trying to do the Sing Sing, leaping arrow, <laughs> but he missed. So that, there was that. Don't you miss the backward arrow from Dota 1? That, oh, I mean, that's so useless. <laughs> leap, <laughs> leap past somebody to back or arrows. <laughs> but it's hilarious. Well, you, you could be running away and throw an arrow to someone that was chasing you. Oh, sure, you. sure, sure. That's actually a very good application. Yeah. But, uh, it was but a long yeah. time ago. Long time ago. It's a different game, different times. And then the playing there kind of unsure of himself. He knows that if there's an arrow coming here, he's going to die. Yeah. But at the same time, he knows that as long as he keeps Be playing well. passively, oh. Milling Kuroki's pretty aggressive. Shackling solo. Funnick's throwing out the 3 2 2 because he, he's like, hey, I'm just checking the rune, man. <laughs> so a little bit of miscommunication coming out from Navi. I'm not sure whether they were rattled by the, the two uh, consecutive Empire defeats because they played him in Star and lost the game, played him in Dream League and lost the game. So. This is an experienced team. I'm sure. I'm sure they can mm -hmm. wash that away. Of course, but yeah. At the same time, starting 4-2 before the creep spawn, that's kind of like getting a Roshan level one against you. Not that bad. Not, Not that, that bad. Yeah. But it's. I mean, Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It forces you to play differently, which they had to. Yeah. They had to move down the bottom. And well, two of the four kills. Speaking of God, uh, well, yeah. Yo's gonna come right in. That's gonna set up the arrow. But they do oh. have the leech seed going on as well as the living armor. Then he's gonna survive this. He's turning around, but he misses the raise, and that should be the end of the aggression. Yeah. Denny, by the way, has 1,300 gold, and he hasn't upgraded his boots yet. You know what happened there, right? What happened? The arrow hit before of the one second of yeah, invulnerability the timer, was yeah. over. Oh, so the arrow didn't do anything. The arrow didn't do anything. And okay. then they just pretty much expired the duration of the nightmare. He walked away unharmed. Ah. That was a little bit of a mistiming there. But hey, then he would take gonna it, rush right? Blink Dagger straight up. I mean, then he would. He, he really it. would. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Dagger Crocky. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. All right, uh, this okay. one should land, but he's right in the trees, and oh, right on the base is... Oh my god! god. Yeah, you don't mess with Dendi now. Oh, oh, Satori shackle under the towers, but the creeps are running interference. Oh, but Dendi no, coming no, around, no, Satori now no, leaps no. back no. into the other side. Do they have Ether Shock in three seconds? Kuroki should just run right next to him and do not right click. Oh, There's the Ether Shock yeah, from long range. There's a kill. That leap to though. jump into that little gap. Oh my god. That was kind of wishful thinking you know like i hope i can jump into a place that will make get me out of here but unfortunately for him nothing happened now funny is going to secure the double damage Radiance and that will mean at this point attack. that maybe he can go for a kill and he will go top and he will try to find that center but the center is also level six so if the lasso doesn't come right away it's just popping oh, well, he doesn't have cool the ultimate it doesn't have cooldown but yeah anyways he's still pretty tanky and about almost 1k gold uh, 1k hp so funny is like yeah no too fat Going well, back. Yeah, maybe they really need something oh, like. Son, Dendi. Sorry. They, they in theory could get the kill if they have the thunderclap and the doom and the flame break and the lasso and the firefly. That's enough damage, but it's so hard to land everything. So they, uh, they back away. And yep. I think uh, Funnick's gonna go into the jungle. And that's gonna give Tree and Protector a couple of levels. Which again, I think Tree is actually a really good hero when you get him to like level 10, 11, that kind of range. So, what's, uh, what's the difference maker? Well, you have both max out leech seed and living armor. I see. Yeah, and like you said, the, the mech factor, if you want to call it that. <laughs> the mech factor. And, and the fact that you can spam, uh, you have limited levels to support really living armor spamming, which you really should be doing that 24-7. Yeah. Also, his ulti has like a tiny cooldown, and it's like amazingly, especially against Centaur, uh, like people, when you use Centaur ulti, you want to run around a team fight, but all of a sudden you're just standing there with the Treant ulti, and it's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, if you look at uh, Overgrowth, it only scales by 0.75 seconds per level. Mm -hmm. It's actually a pretty bad spell to level up, as we see an extra of them going out on the jungle. Kuroki, look at how he's Oh, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that hurts. And I think he's going to steal these creeps from the Batrider. He got a couple, he yeah. got another one. Uh, Batrider got the last one. But now, yeah, he's protected by Goblin. He's able to just run okay, and if he wants to, he can push this tower, which... They're about to do. And Fanic, what can you do there? That's a level one flame break. Level two doesn't really do much. 
Yeah, Exorcism luckily for him is running out, which I guess if you don't kick the tower completely, Trian is going to just heal it back up. Yeah, but it's also costing his mana. He's sure. mana pull right now. Oh, he actually got the Arcane boost right now. Until this point, every time you use Living Armor, it means you can't cast it on someone else. Wait, so I we were talking so much about other stuff. I, I wasn't sure whether Trian Protector was picked before the Corobulus yeah, or Death Prophet, or was uh, it the other way around? I can check. Give me a second. Who had first pick? Do you remember? It was... Navi, I think they picked Doom? Uh, Doom... Ba, ba, ba. No, they picked Doom and... Um... It was just a response. It was yeah. they, they were both third pick. Death Prophet and then Treant. Oh. Yeah, generally you don't want to have a Treant against a Death Prophet because if you overgrowth, normally you shut down carries right-click potential. Death Prophet does not care because yeah. the Ghost will still right-click you. So it's a very, very questionable pick, especially uh, you know, Navi pick after the Death Prophet mm -hmm. is out. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I completely agree with like that. Looks like waiting for him to kill the They have so much vision in the dire top lane. They have two wards. <laughs> it's the binocular yeah. vision. Well, well, it's well, well, just die. Yeah. A bit of depth perception. Ah, I like that. <laughs> 3D. You know, I actually got to play with Valve's VR system when I went to Seattle. Uh, they put like a, a, a helmet Dyer's on you. Really? Oh. And you can see, attack. and you can walk in a room and you can see stuff in 3D. Of course, they still don't have Dota 2 in 3D. What would that be? Uh, and it's like, it, it's uh, an experience. It's compl if you try the Oculus Rift, this is completely different. And there's a slip oh. right now on Kovos. And the stop. Here's the thing. Yeah, like, living armor. Oh, now the dude's gonna go right. Yo, yo was expecting that he's gonna heal with uh, his uh, Brace app, but he's gonna get you run away. 365 versus 355. You can't. What? He's, he's trying to deny. Great creeps. Oh! oh next next level. level. All right, top lane. Kovos. Not gonna get anything. Beautiful. I was like, there's no has way. Puppy has a million base damage. But he attacks so slow. Yes. He just waited and bam. Back in the middle lane, looks like uh, they're going to try to shove the creep wave a little bit. Dendi, we're asking what item he's going to go. He's going to go Hand of Midas. Yes. So no blink. All right. No blink for Dondo. I think I've ever seen Hand of Midas on Shadowfin. I've seen Shadow Midas on Shadowfin. I, sh Shadow Mi Hand of Midas on Shadowfin. At least I don't normally don't see Dendi yeah, on Hand exactly. of Midas. He's usually yeah. an aggressive player, not a farmer. Yeah. I mean, in this game, it makes sense, considering the fact that Batrider is not really a damage dealer, so they're going to be lacking damage from one of the core. Puppy really doesn't do any damage with this hero, so uh, it, it's expected to, for Shadowfin to do a ton of right clicks. Here comes a oh, uh, old Invis <laughs> coming out for Puppy, get out of here. So that pretty much ends uh, that, but they're gonna find Funnick. Funnick's gonna try to dodge Firefly, it's gonna get him out of there. Here comes Kuroki, there's a hex to cancel the animation. He just Dyer's wants to get off a stop, but nobody's allowing him to do so. The arrow, oh, that's gonna hit. Bye -bye. Invisibility not saving him, Dyer's and the Firefly is running out. He's gonna die now. And where's the stun? No, stun. There's no stun for six attack. seconds. Go down. What a noob! He doesn't have Curse of Awareness! Oh! Okay, I guess that does it anyways. But hey, you're level 6 Avedon, you have to have one point. Really? You think Do you so? agree? I don't know. It's Dyer's just like, middle forget about this low. The flow attack. is bad at level 1. But the movement speed bonus, the 15%, is fixed. You get a level 1. So everyone that gets a hit on the guy, Okay. They're just tr truck. Okay, if I know I'm gonna hit level 11 for sure, yes. I completely agree. Dyer's middle tower. But when you play here like a bad I don't know if you're gonna hit level eleven by the game ends. He started two oh and that's, two his, the that's the hard argument. I agree. <laughs> like he started level two before anybody else is, so I agree. I, I think he should have defrost of Vernus, but in normal circumstance, I think you want to max your, your two spells first. Fair enough. So Fair enough. we've been talking about a lot of random stuff. Who do you think is actually ahead right now? We have uh Rock's Kiss with three kills lead, a gold chart as well as experience quite even. Hero-wise, we have a Midas on Shadowfiend, so I think he's the only one that's like really ahead. Uh huh. And he also has 77 last hits right yeah. now, so he's so, stopping. Uh, but everything else can side. Like, who okay. do you think's ahead? So here's the thing, right? I think this is kind of the situation that Empire. Wait, Shadow. there's something happening. The ladies. Yeah, I heard the ladies, and then like, <laughs> 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 they were like, oh, oh they're no. <laughs> I love their sisters. <laughs> oh, well, that's gonna hurt everyone, but at the same time. Are they using the Doom? No, they don't need to use the Doom. And uh, that's gone. It's a very weird... Like, I'm gonna... Oh, and then we have Moonlight Shadow, but there's ghosts flying around, so... Uh, I think she must be somewhere around here. Let's drop a sentry and see what happens. But going back to your question, this is kind of the situation that Empire faced against Sigma today? Yes. Which is... Navi has... Uh, oh. They need to living armor him right there. The grip's gonna go. Kuroki Dendi, there's no healing on him whatsoever. Three people melt. The ward gets dropped, and that's gonna get farmed under the tower. And the tier one goes down. 
Does that change your whatever you were gonna say? No, no, no. I actually still agree with my previous point. Roxkis has the pushing lineup right now. Okay. And they have the Death Prophet. They can create space with the Bane, with the Vadon. They can just go into your tower and push without you being able to just want 5v5 them at this early stage of the game, which is what Sigma did when they had the Warlock, when they had the Shadow Shaman. Navi. They're counting on, well, if it comes to the late game and you have a fully farmed Doom and a fully farmed Shadowfin, I'm looking at Rock's Gizzard, like, what's the center going to do, other than being annoying? Mirana, Mirana is not the greatest scaling, huh? What, they have a Doom right now? Yeah, they're trying to run Ding away with the center ultimate. They are going to oh find Yol. Yol's going to be the no deny here whatsoever. The arrow is going to hit up Puppy Puppy. So if it's up, he's going to be alive. They're going to focus on 6 3 3. Send it. Get him out of there. Firefly. Burning things up. They are going to get the second kill. Goldblock joining the party a little bit late. Hovos just does not care. Chasing away three heroes. And I think they need to back off after that. And yeah, so the bottom line of what I was saying is that if Navi can hold off the storm, which they seem to be doing pretty well, I think they are on route to actually get uh, the win here. When rocks can push as well, they have to push the towers in one go, because if they don't, the Trian just heals them back up. Like yeah. yeah, that's uh, the other very, very annoying thing. So yeah, I I'm actually favoring Navi here, even though the initial uh, trade went on Roxy's way. Yeah, as we see... Uh, Look at go Black chasing her boss. <laughs> Like, nah, not worth it. I, I'm actually very impressed with the way that Puppy's been using Living Armor, or not Living Armor, uh, uh, Nature's Guys, oh, yeah. to initiate. Like, the Doom basically walked in Invis next to a tree line, and he's basically saving a lot of heroes, including himself, with that. Uh, I think, uh, as we see, oh, Grip goes on Funic on the top lane, but is there a hero follow of any sort? No, it's gonna be Centaur slowly walking in the Grip, and the Nightmare's oh. gonna be there. Is Dandy gonna take the Nightmare? No take in of Nightmare whatsoever. Yes, Funic dies as a result. Top tower is under attack. He says, I ain't taking that. And now here comes the Sweet Sisters. And they got Kuro. Kuro, you get an arrow and you are dead. Now, do you just use this in your own jungle to get a support? If you can't throw this, not throw, like kill this middle tower, then it's, I, I feel it's pretty much a wasted exorcism. Yeah, I mean, again, they Dyer's have Glyph to protect the tower, they have Living attack. Armor to heal it back up. Mm, living Armor is Radiant's running right now. Are they gonna Glyph attack. this is the question? Yeah, they are definitely Radiant Glyphing us. Two heroes coming back fortified. with you know, everybody's exorcism is over. Yeah, they could initiate. The question is, does Roxkis have those Sensual Wars? They really need it badly against that, uh, that tree protector, but no, there's no TP support whatsoever coming from Navi, or is it too late? Oh, okay. oh it tries, it doesn't get it. Has fallen. It's pretty hard to swing that sword. Break. Yeah, top it is. Tower it's is a fire sword. Attack. Fire doesn't weigh anything. Should be pretty light. Mm, well, the, the sword is like completely made of fire? No oh, way. Ah, uh, maybe. Lightsabers are made of light. Flame yeah, but they sabers. have a base. Yeah, but how heavy can that base be? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I've never held the lightsaber. Half a pound? I don't know. Give me your measurement and I don't know. You know what I'm really disappointed about is Dyer's middle Dendi's tower not playing is under attack. Yes. Well, well that, that's, that's normally that's disappointing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But but no, the real reason is I, I'm told that Dendi has the uh, free to play Dyer's set. Top yes. Tower is under attack. With the, I think it's called oh, Death of the Crow to set. See the... Yeah, and it has like a this Dendi doll yeah. behind the punch. Like how amazing for him to use that but set. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Does he have it already? Himself? I think he does. I think. Oh, he that's does. pretty cool. Yesterday, uh, Fear could have played his Sven. Oh, nice. Yeah, and HY, HY could have played... Oh, Yol finds Pup. Oh, Yol finds Dendi and Dendi immediately blinks away. He doesn't want to be Finn's grip, not knowing who is there. Dendi, I mean, he's playing on the opponent's jungle. He's being very reckless right now. And Yol sees him. Oh, is there a Slinky? He's coming in. Yol! There's Funny. There's a little bit of life. Hmm. Oh, nice sleep from Funny just as he pops Lasso. There's nothing they can do, but suddenly all of Navi is here right now. 633 trying to run away. He's tanky, but not that tanky, my friend. And Goldblatt. Oh, you're alive, but the Ender Shark's gonna clean things through solo. Trying to pop his ultimate, but then blinking on the backside is gonna clean him up. Goldblack's on the run. No, ch no point chasing him. Arrow's gonna hit on Kuroki, but he's surrounded by everybody. No, Goldblack wants to go back in the urn. He's gonna get it. Living armor? Living armor? No. Living armor. He's got. Oh. Play it from Goldblack. But he pays with his life. Yeah, triple kill for Dendi. He has his VKV, I think. No, he still needs a recipe. He's looking kind of scary now. But yeah, that shadow film with the Midas, man. It's Seven. worse than a hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> Did you see that movie? Pretty good movie. Pretty good movie. <laughs> I have to say that Blink Dagger is an excellent item choice here. He normally Allies, does get it, but this it? game is so much better. Um, Moonlight Shadow Initiation coming out from Rana, trying to catch off uh, Funic. He smelt it. Funic can fly.
Trying to catch fight. Get out of there. And the reason for the Blink Dagger being good is that Rock's Kiss, if you look at their lineup, they don't really have that much damage output. It's these spells hitting, like this, the arrows, the Centaur Stomp. It's mostly da uh, AoE base. And what Dendi does is he waits for his team to tank the initial barrage. Mm -hmm. And then he comes in and cleans up. And that's exactly what we saw in the previous team fight, where I think it was Doom, Doom that got in focus. Yeah. 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 So now Rock's Kiss is going to try to change things up. Uh, they need to they need to surprise Radiant's Navi, so the Blink Dagger pick up on Centaur will help with that greatly. I think that Blink Dagger is a game changer right now, because as long as Navi doesn't know that they have it, they can go on Dendi. And realistically, the Doom is a threat late game. But right now, if you kill Dendi, what else is Navi going to do? That's right away 70% of the damage right now. Sure, sure. Attack. So but it's pretty hard to kill him as well with the Leech Seed and the Tree and Diamond. Yeah, that's what fortified. they've been having trouble with. The only time they had a uh, successful time killing him was during that tier 1 tower push when he got hit by like a 4 or 5 second arrow and I think a living armor was on cooldown. So no, then he was just uh, picked off. So even though Rock's Kiss got this Aegis right now, Centaur. Yeah, I'm not sure they're actually ahead. Well, they lost the tower for it. And the tier 2 tower is kind of expensive to lose against the Aegis because mm -hmm. when you get an Aegis, you're getting three things, right? An extra life, first. Second. The gold. Uh, yeah, the gold and all that part. Okay, four things. <laughs> the gold. Also, something with which you can be aggressive with. Yeah, you can go and push towers. Mm -hmm. And you're denying the ages to the enemy, right? Sure. So denying the ages to the enemy, that's perfect, because you don't want that on the shadow thing. Otherwise, that's GG. Uh oh, here oh. comes initiation of flame break. It's going to slow them down, and that's it. Fab oh, that's it. <laughs> Still Thank you, bleak. Panic. You wanted me to finish my point. The thing is that they deny the ages. They get the extra life, which they're not going to use unless they get initiated upon, which is like kind of an extra life to get away from something. But I don't think they can do anything with this Aegis right now. They can't use it effectively to just create space. This is an Aegis of, let's put it on our carry and farm for six minutes yeah. and not do much more than that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see that they're actively looking for fights. They're using uh, center ults. They're trying to pick off people, but yeah, not they can't. What? They really can't. Yeah, they... Oh. Navi is being... Very, very cautious and very mobile. Well, they're right, right behind them on the top lane right now. Yo, gets more trapped. The Moonlight Shadow's gonna come in. Here comes a two-man son. You talked about the Blink Dagger being the surprise factor. They just pick off one instantly. Danny on the run's got the Blink Dagger very soon. Wow, Overgrowth just to get them out of there. And they do. You on the back line. Composed pop his BKB. He's going to work. Batrider. Immediately, they're gonna kill Sadoi, but Sadoi is gonna be Why killed up by Gold Black. He's so big. Oh man. Oh no, it's not Sadoi. It was, uh, it was just Mana that's a big up. And now, see, they lost the Aegis, but this Aegis loss means nothing. Well, he has Blink and Stomp coming back up right now. He can't kill. What's he gonna do? Blink away, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. oh here pops the BKV. Some raises, and now you run. <laughs> oh no, they're running right back. Oh. They want Oh, there's another G-Man oh, stop. Leap into a double star storm. Her Vols drops instantly. Gem gets recovered. <laughs> oh no, they got the gem from Navi, and they're gonna get yet another kill. Guess what? Uh, all your moonlight shadow or all your uh, oh. nature sky shenanigan is now gone. That was a huge victory, and guess what? It came from the Aegis. Yes, Bruno. Tim. <laughs> You came from the Blink Dagger first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the thing. But Bruno's four stages. Did they buy back? Did anyone buy I back? I don't think they did. I don't think they did. No, no. then I guess. Yeah. Dyer's Credit to the ages. Credit to the ages. I, I think the biggest loss is actually losing that gem because, first of all, a lot of the deep wards that Navi plays, which allowed them to play that aggressive, is yep. now gone, so they can't do that again. Second of all, they Dyer's rely a lot on the Nature's Case initiation. Rock's Kiss had no sentries whatsoever. Yep. And now they have a gem. So. I guess Gold Black had two centuries. He's yeah. also baiting at the BKB on Shadowfiend. After we worn out, they were like, okay, let's fight now, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Rox gets really ahead, I think, after that engagement. Yeah, I mean, let's see the goal graph. Look at that. It's no, all it in his favor. <laughs> it's We're completely look wrong. It looks like Rox is completely in control of this game right now. Uh, I feel like they just definitely Mentally. got the momentum. Take off map control, yeah. which means a lot. Which doesn't immediately reflect on the goal graph, but it, it will eventually. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 really good. I, I really like how the experience graph sometimes tells the story better. Not right now because they're both very similar. But you first see the experience change, and then you see the goal following. Uh, um, so if we see in the next couple of minutes the experience going in Roxy's way, this means that they're in a good position. But then again, coming late game, what can they do? Late game wise. Yeah, I think again with the problem with Navi's team is that they really lack damage output. Your support. What? what? They have a Shadow Fiend? 
I mean, yes, your supports don't do much damage. Okay. And if, if you look at what Dandy's trying to get item-wise, he's going for a Desolator, which is really going to uh, amp up the damage. Or a second DKV. Well, it wrong, but uh, <laughs> with two Mithril Hammers, the Curry of getting a uh, uh, Desolator recipe. Huge ultimate coming out in the mid lane right now, and it's oh, Chaos. But Hobo's oh, getting oh. gripped up, and guess what? All the Ghost Ladies are focused on him. Then he's going to be part of that. He just kills Yo in one or two hits. They want more. You can see a Funda going far ahead. He's tying to those goals. Oh my god, the Living Armor going back to him. Then he just blinks back, and they're out of there. The War Trap's going to go on Solo. Solo dying under there. Then it's going to get picked up on Blink Dagger, paying dividends. It's Karoki. Oh, Mike Crusade oh, to push down. Fighting's gonna come back in with invincibility oh. here. It's gonna look at save them. For everyone, oh look at everyone's HP. They're so low. That flame break. I'd be screaming at him right now. No pun intended. So low. I shall honor you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Second Dear time God, today where Funnick and uh, and Karoki are not communicating. Remember the mid where yes, Karoki can't gank? Yeah, <laughs> there was yeah. four creatures on him. In there. And Funnick says, I'm checking rune, guys. Yeah, oh, that, that <laughs> didn't work well for them. But right now, I mean, this trade... Oh, there's more trade because they're happening top right now. Blink oh. into a stomp on Puppy. Here comes the offensive bird. Overgrowth being used. He's trying to There's go and jizz, but yeah, Go Black has a gem. Oh, they didn't jizz. Oh. Maybe they're afraid of TP response as well. well. The Overgrowth kept them in place. Yeah, I mean, he could shield the center to get him away, yeah. but the center didn't have the gem. They should have done like a, an MD post, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, give me your TP, I'll give you my gem, and you chase. <laughs> okay, sorry, pause, go. That, that's what we call a tactical pause, <laughs> and, uh, you know, Puppy is, uh, yeah. He what has... did you write for Puppy for Compendium? I'm very curious. It's a surprise. Oh, you have to go to the yeah, Compendium. Yeah, you have to go check. Yeah. Which, by the way, if you haven't, uh, Gone on and read some of the compendiums. Oh, those women were awesome. They, they, they're awesome. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really curious right now because we kind of went live with this, and yeah. I haven't checked my Twitter or Reddit or something. So I'm hoping people are liking it. Man, the, I, my, the C9 one's my favorite. The C9 is pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, you can go, you can go check the compendium probably by buying uh, the ticket. ticket. You are, if you're watching this game, you don't need to buy the ticket. So you don't have it. That's yep. a choice. You can have it. We get to eighty thousand dollars. We also get an invoker set, which we're going to preview soon as well. The forge spirits for that look awesome. The forge though. spirit for that we're going to show that this week as well, along with uh, the chainsaw that I think is coming this week. And uh, we're going to give some more updates. Is that uh, enough? The voice doesn't care. He literally. I well, mean, he would care now. If he's no, gonna no, get gripped. Doesn't care. No. Nope. Nope. He's like, come on, bring it on, boys. Well, I mean, he has all the team behind. Yeah, him. exactly. Yeah, not the only that, is just sitting up there waiting. The living armor is going to be there. A 15 charge magic wand is in place. And more importantly, the plate mail is really allowing him to stand in front line. He knows he's not afraid of the uh, Fiend's Grip because Batrider will Dyer's immediately use a flame break to, to cancel that. So. Hey, Radiant's Lumi, top I, tower I remember, uh, you, sorry, I don't want to cut you off. It's just like you mentioned the plate mail particularly. You are kind of the mechanics guy. Do you remember how much armor do you need to have? Oh, talking about later, Kuroki's gonna get this shit out. Kuroki says not this again, but a big oh. overgrowth. Oh, oh the puppy post! What the hell? <laughs> okay, okay, so here's what we need to do, right? <laughs> All right, here's what we need to go black. Oh my god. Has, he, has he used the Baba Drill team? see it. And you all now reconnected. Oh my Jesus. god. Jesus. Jesus. <sighs> That's some Look at Dendi. I mean, right there. Look at Dendi's going to blink in and BKB and all the hell out of him. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Do they see Dendi? Do you think they see I No, don't they, they, don't. they don't see Dendi, no. Oh, this is the biggest sloppy bob I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, guys, what are we doing here? So, no, this is what Yol needs to do. Yol needs to walk left in antip anticipation of a Shadow Fiend, because they don't see the Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend's gonna blink the middle and try to grip, and, er, ult. Okay, and Yol needs to fiend grip to cancel who does that. He, who does he sleep first, though? No, forget the sleep. You need to cancel directly. Oh, here comes Andy. They got solo, solo is gone. There you go, grip Yeah, him. but it's not enough now, because everyone that can do damage is dead and go back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're full health, but you're gonna die anyways. Oh. There's no buybacks going on. Dendi with the blink dagger starts picking off people. And go black and sick 3 3. Just run away. Oh, oh there's something yet. today. All steep, man. No, they're just uh, securing the tower. You were Dyer's asking me. Uh, yeah, uh, mechanic. Play, uh, how, many armor, how much armor do you need to so that armor becomes better than a stout shield? Do you remember that? Oh, armor better than stout shield? Yeah. Dyer's structures are fortified. No, the exact value. I'm thinking, well, Dyer's actually, it's percentage damage. So. Yeah. It also depends on your arm, uh, HP, right? I think so. Or, 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 or
think it's looking a bit grim, lads. I mean, if you have a building HP, a single point of armor gives you way more than a damage bar. Exactly. It, it depends on the damage Dyer's of your enemy. If the enemy deals fallen. a lot of damage, then armor is always better. Dyer's yeah, but uh, here's like a attack. general rule of thumb. Late game armor is much better than yeah. damage Dyer's block, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know. So, Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I don't know. Well, that was a pretty chaotic team fight, but it was really. I think what what won them the team fight was overgrowth, because that kept everybody locked down. And correct me like if I'm four, wrong. Four man overgrowth, five man overgrowth. Yeah, something like that. It was insane. It was correct me if I'm wrong. You cannot actually cycle yourself, as we see a flame initiation on Solo. Solo is gonna get overgrown now, and Solo is dead. GG, well played. Question, I'm, I'm not sure what it is true or not. Can you... I think you can cycle on yourself. Yeah, you you can. cannot cycle on yourself. You, you, can. Can. you, you can. can. You can. You can cycle on yourself. So, did, did Solo cycle on himself? I didn't see him cycling himself. He needs to cycle himself to, to stay alive. Yeah. Maybe try to do the silence first. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Didn't pay off. Anyways, convincing victory for Navi. Things were not going their way at the beginning of the game. This first team fight ended up 4-2 for Rockskis. Unfortunately for them,